Hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Hermits and Crafting. And we are navigating the tight corridors of the Nether. That is right. In our last episode, we finally drilled from the overworld all the way to the Nether, and we have arrived in the. Hello, I am. I am trapped in the fog. Apparently, the fog is so thick here in the Nether. That we are now trapped in an endless infinity loop of the fog. That's some good breaststroke, by the way, right there. That's good technique. I used to be a swim instructor, and I'd approve of that. How to get out of this predicament? Well, I don't really know. <laughs> so, oh no! <laughs> okay, we busted out of there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was scary. Oh, now you're seeing something even more scary. The inside of my brain, hollow and empty. I, I mean, I can make an echo in here. Listen. Hello, Scar's brain. Are you there? See? Nothing. There's nothing in there. Removing myself from my own head now, it is time to finish out our intro here. And as I said, we are here in the Upside Down, where in our last episode we drilled all the way down here. And of course, joined the B of the double of the O, and of course, the G-Man. And they welcomed me with open in arms and a giant pig snout where we were pranked in the most insane possible way which was absolutely awesome but being in the upside down all new citizens are pranked and of course they need to come up with their very own rule which of course we need to come up with one hi uh, hello hi <laughs> we need to come up with one for ourselves and cannot forget that we brought big bud down here from the overworld we drilled our way all the way down and we will set up our base inside here in this episode which is going to be absolutely fantastic to have a better place to reside in and something that i have just found out about is that gas can break concrete and they can break glass that's how we ended up in the fog Speaking of being careful, you guys have given me a ton of scar safety tips in the last episode, which have helped me stay alive a little bit longer. So inside here, you can see that I am rocking the totem of the undying. I have the gold armor to keep the piglins in our good graces. We've got our potion of fire resistance and of course our anti ghast bow and a little bit of watermelon to quench our thirst. It is very hot and very dry down here. So we have a lot of amazing plans in store for today here in the upside down. But before we get to any of those, we got some mayoral business to take care of in the shopping district. And boy, does it feel good to get out of that hot and steamy underground area and feel that nice, cool breeze on our hair. I feel very nice. I need a haircut. Now that we're here in the town hall, we need to check up on the road building competition. And the one, the only Cub fan has applied for the enforcer role. He says he has left a resume somewhere around here. But before we get to that, as you can see, Main Street is nearing a completion and Azuma has been a busy bee over here working on his moon base style roads. So this is kind of like a Tomorrowland vibe. We're basically making Hermit Disneyland over here. Um, so yeah, this is looking really, really fantastic. And with that, we are going to have to start putting up the barriers here on all of these shops to notify these shop owners that they are in need of a road pass. This quadrant of Pink Road has its barriers installed and ready to go. So those shop owners know where to pay for their road passes. Quick misconception, the diamonds don't go to my pocket. They go to the person who wins the road building contest. Some people thought it went to my Baby Yoda collection. Crazy, right? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Mycelium resistance. We shall reclaim this land. What in the world? Who is spreading mycelium? There's another one. Look at that mycelium back there. I think I saw that earlier and I thought it was just another pocket of mycelium growing up from the underworld. No, this is <laughs> this is the work of some kind of shenanigans maker. With this fungus spreading throughout the shopping district, masquerading, as a resistance, we're gonna have to call in our own reinforcements here. And that of course is Hip, 
Hermit Environmental Protection Agency. They once tried to save season five of Hermit Crap by stopping a reactor from imploding. Unsuccessfully, sadly, poor Mumbo was sunken in the ocean in a boat. And then, of course, they tried to stop a giant radioactive plant monster in season six. All very unsuccessful. So maybe the third time will be the charm here in season seven. With this mycelium resistance. The Hermit Environmental Protection Agency has arrived and the hip agents are hard at work here extracting the mycelium from the ground wearing their environmental protection suits and uh appears to be a bit of a misspelling there that's the herp agent <laughs> but anyway they're extracting out that mycelium and getting rid of it just a little bulletin here for the hermits to maintain safe distance from this area hermit environmental protection quarantine zone dangerous fungus stay back good job hip keep it up and keep it burning get all of that mycelium out of here and of course we are at hip site two and this area has been secured for the protection of the hermits and as you can see they are hard at work replacing all the mycelium with that big beautiful grass there getting that all out of there so we're gonna let hip do its job get rid of this and also we'll be on a sharp lookout for whoever this mischief maker is as mayor we do so much good work for those hermits don't we it must be why we have a 210 percent approval rating also it looks super weird that big bud is not up on his cliff but it's incredible to see how much progress that we have done around here since we first moved into this area built big bud up on the hill and now we have this giant infrastructure here which is going to get a whole lot bigger very soon we just need to stop off over here at the giant ice cream cone <laughs> and get ourselves some more resources for some new projects in the nether shulkers in hand let's get started on completing the scar x infrastructure here in the upside down and what that'll entail is our conveyor belt system and of course the world famous nether carts <laughs> I don't know what it is about those nether carts, but they always crack me up with that little droid on the back controlling them, which I think will be absolutely fantastic. It's time to jump into super fast build mode and build out this infrastructure down here. And once that's done, oh boy, do I ever have a surprise for you. And it is going to be truly amazing. So, ow, ow, that hurts so much. Hit it. fast build mode where did those guys come from but as i said welcome back and we now have our massive conveyor belt and no 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 oh that was so close <laughs> i'm just like looking down at death as i was saying we now have our nether cart system built up here and of course our conveyor belt bringing debris up into the overworld and this area is looking cool now of course there is a lot more we're going to do with our nether carts and things like that but at least we got the base structure of it down and i think it is looking very very nice so ah hi ow that hurt that hurt oh 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 that hurts so much oh no oh i died so fast 
Oh, you guys have been torturing me this entire episode. No, 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 leave me alone. I'm just trying to find my stuff. Oh no, it's not there. Oh, oh no. Just, just kill me. Just kill me. I, I don't care anymore. You, you lost all my stuff. I don't have anything left now. <laughs> oh man. We've got some ender pearls. I'm gonna see if I can get across there without getting Mr. Gast looking in my direction. Okay, I'm hiding, I'm hiding. There we are. Oh, we're stuck. All of them. Oh no, no, we got the scar nose helmet. <laughs> How did you survive? Whoa, 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 wow, that really launched me. Oh, there's doubles, there's doubles. No, 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 that's gonna be lava deaths. I. Here it comes. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I saw my life rush before my eyes. We're outfitted now with wings and an axe and two carrots. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can recover our stuff here. <gasps> oh, there's there, there's my carrots. There's my carrots. Okay, that's good. There's the scar nose helmet. But please, please be my bow. Please be my bow. What about my gold pants? What about my gold pants? There's an arrow. <laughs> In a flint? Come on now. Oh, uh, if that's the case, it must have all burned up. I hate so much the things that you choose to be, Gast. My gold pants. My gold pants. <laughs> we got our gold pants on. If only we could find our boots. Oh, it's all gone. The rest of it. Let's go get geared back up. Thank God for looky looky at my Wookiee. I never knew that I had such prominent and beautiful shoes. Like, look at those. <laughs> those are as shiny as a piano. But enough with my shoes. Let's get our enchants that we need. And we do have some good news here in that I forgot that I put the wheelchair armrest sword in the ender chest because I was only using the bow and arrow. Rip that during the time lapse. So I'm so glad we got that back. Very lucky. Oh, did I tell you I got pig step? Can't play it or I'll get a copyright, but I'm very happy about it. I am Corrales' best customer here, considering the amount of times I have died. 188. Thankfully, the rest of the books that we need are back at the Magical Village. I just came up with the best name for a bow, and it makes me feel so much better now. Well, this is gonna take a little longer than I thought. I forgot we lost all of our levels. Shouldn't be too much of a problem in our XP slash trading hall of a village here. Wait, no, no, oh, I made a mistake. I just wasted 32 levels. <laughs> Have I opened an umbrella in a house recently? Have I walked under a ladder? Or rolled under a ladder, that is? No, Bob, no, Bob, no, no. <laughs> All right, and I'm back at the spawn island. Wow. Okay. As I said, I'm the most unlucky Minecrafter right now. There's no tunnel here at the spawn island. What do you think? Do you think that is worth all the trouble it was to make? <laughs> that could be the best nether bow ever. The ghast buster. Anyway, let's make this. Get some shoes. Get back to work. Our first target for the ghast buster is below us. Well, where was he? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. <laughs> Hello there, buddy. You think you can terrorize me? No. Okay. Missed that one. That's mildly embarrassing. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, come on now. No, no. This this bow is, is not fine-tuned. <laughs> I need to tighten up the string portion of it. All right, we're going mobile. We're going mobile. We're going hot. There we go. A gas buster has got its first target. It would have been really cool if that one dropped ahead. But any more of you out here? Because I am ready to take you <gasps> down. Dude, the nether's just too dangerous for me. This is too much. Something I realized is that I've never built in the nether. We've been playing Minecraft together since 2011, and I have been playing on my own since 2010. And this is the first time, so no wonder. <laughs> We were having so much trouble. Like, I don't think I've ever let down a block outside of maybe a nether tunnel or the tree that we built in this season, which is 
kind of funny to think about. And with that, it is time to move into the next phase of our infrastructure build out here at the Scarx Nether Base. And we need to move in our mechanized security and mining teams. And I have put in a good amount of time into these designs in a test world. I've just been chilling and building for the last three days on these designs. And I have had an absolute blast. So without any further delay, let's hit super fast build mode one more time and finally build them. of super fast build mode and we've got our vehicles assembled and ready to roll here in the scar x drill site the first vehicle is a gigantic tank and we had to terraform this area oh oh no oh no what the heck <laughs> i forgot i put these little lava pockets here just to kind of light the area up definitely not scar safe but as i was saying um we've got our first vehicle and it is a tank and it's got these really cool legs like come on look at those legs i had so much fun kind of assembling them trying to come up with the get out of here you have you you've tortured me all episode good that's why i said leave anyway um these were really fun to come up with the methodology behind how each of these kind of works within the scheme of the legs, you know, walking and I had a absolute blast making this. And if we take one far out shot here of it, I think it came out really, really fantastic. Now, moving our attention down below here, we've got a little mechanized security droid here and he is having so much fun. Like, <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's kind of perched on the side there. So that looks a little peculiar. Curious, but you know he's keeping them gas keeping those stinky bouncy mcbouncersons down there at bay and then up at the top here we have our dump truck so it's got its little chicken legs down below and it was just so much fun to make these legs and think about how the piston might move or using the end rod as some kind of um just anything. I don't know what the right word would be. I'm not a mechanic, but yeah, absolutely a blast. And look at them. They're just having so much fun driving their vehicles. And we need to think of something to put in the back there. And finally, we have our last vehicle, the giant drill vehicle. And this one might be my favorite one. Let me know what your favorite one is. Is it the tank, the mech down below, the dump truck over yonder, or the drill? This one, once again, has the highly detailed mechanical legs, with all the pistons and actuators and the drill and things along those lines. I think it adds so much fun and character to the area. And we'll continue to add more and more of these. And I think it'd be cool to have a couple of the mechs scattered around. And like I said, we need to put something in the back of the truck and we need to put some debris high. Now this thing, get out of here, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're back, huh? Yeah, I see you. That's what I was saying. We need to put some debris on these conveyor belts heading back up to the overworld. We've got a problem here. Look across the way. And you can see the drill has taken damage along with the track system for the conveyor belts. 
but that's not all. Green's mansion became under attack. Thankfully, I was here with my bow and was able to take it out because I was trying to find the tunnel entrance. You know, the tunnels that um, I, I may or may not have ruined with a giant drill that I promise I will fix, by the way. I will fix them. But there was a gas flying around in here haunting his mansion. And with my quick wit, I grabbed out the gas blaster and took it out. So it gave me an idea. What if we create some kind of shop or service here in the Upside Down or in the Nether in general that takes out the gas and repairs the damage that they cause? We go over to the people's bases, sniff out those gas haunting their attics, and also fix all the damage for just a couple diamonds. Could be a lot of fun and also could give us some diamonds because <laughs> we're starting to run out. I could get used to this gas busting. I think it would be quite a bit of fun. All right, let's see if we can find this resume that Cub just messaged me again asking if I'd seen it. And I'm like, dude, I've looked everywhere and I haven't found it. Okay, he put it right on the throne. <laughs> well, of course I couldn't have seen it. I'm way up in the throne here looking down upon the shopping district. <laughs> anyway, let's take a peek at Cub's resume for the enforcer role here in the shopping district. Dear Mayor Scar of the Good Times, I am Cubfan135, all-powerful pharaoh of the Sands of the Sea. Woo, I like that title. At your request, I'm here by submitting my application for the role of Enforcer. Wow, he's got all sorts of cool little graphics in here. Uh, let's see, experience. Only person to ever try to punch Azuma because I thought he was a real strider. That's a common mistake. Once told a bee to buzz off, and it worked. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what else has got his resume. Cubs Road, named after me. That's true. All shops have road passes paid. Oh, oh, Cub, you're the first person ever. To... I see a diamond block. That is the first person ever to pay for a road pass. I like it. Other qualifications, Pharaoh Powers, certified petty prankster, qualified in the use of flint and steel, co-owner of the Hermits and Herald, which that's important to get positive stories run about our mayorship. Also, Convex. Why is, this, why is there no convex here? And it's time for a shopping district where every shop has an ender chest, every road looks great, and every hermit buys a road pass. That's very important. You see all those white pieces of paper? Those are unpaid shops. Got some deadbeats out there. <laughs> I'm the man who can make it happen. Cub seems like the man for the job. Do you guys agree? Should we look for more applicants or should we take Cub? Let me know in the comments. What? No, 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 no. Watch out, Bernie. You're very bushy. Are you serious? What is going on here? <laughs> there is way more mycelium here than there was at the beginning of this episode, right? Yeah, that that's like a giant pile of manure. And you dudes aren't burning it fast enough. Jeez. Oh, there's definitely more. And it's seeping out under the line. <laughs> oh, this requires some action. Well, I stand behind this uh, backwards podium here to bring you a special message from the mayor. All resistance fighters will be hunted down and brought to justice. All mycelium will be banned on the island. You can't sell it or harbor it. We were through of it. We're not bringing it back. This mycelium may have scarred me, but my resolve is never stronger to defend feet of mycelium menace. And there we are. It's official now. Mycelium is banned from the island and any resistance talk and that should work now that's officially a sign here on the rules board after all. In our next episode, we'll meet up with B-dubs. We'll clear out all of that mycelium with the hip agents. And also B-dubs and I have some really, really fun ideas that's gonna come after the road building competition. So stay tuned for that because we are just getting started here in the shopping district. And there we go, my friends. What an absolutely crazy episode. Many unfortunate accidents here or there, but in the end, we persevered and made some really cool vehicles that I'm very pleased with. And I hope you guys liked it. And of course, if you want to see in our next episode doing some gas busting, let me know in the comments. Just write gas busting. If you're excited, if you made it to the end of the video, type that in the comments so I know that you're excited to do it. If we want to or not, we'll see. But anyway, guys, until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life. Mm -hmm.